guys, welcome back to another installment of our Every Room is Different Pack Challenge. We're working on this study bathroom today, and as you can see, we got Jungle Adventure, which is very fitting. I was really happy about that because it goes very well with what we did in the study. And I also really like these tiles, so I was happy that I got to use them. It was just a matter of choosing a color. And I actually filmed this one pretty quick. I know I've sped it up a bit, but yeah, it was like 16 minutes, which is a miracle for me, really. I really liked these tiles. They just, I felt like they fit very well, but I wanted to do the terracotta. And I actually used windows from the Jungle Adventure pack. I wasn't super thrilled to do it, but I did. And once again, I was super happy with the items in the pack and also surprised. I thought most of it would be rustic, but there actually was some like modern, like the sink. And then there was actually a toilet, thankfully, and a shower. <laughs> I was like, oh, so glad. This is the bathroom and it's kind of hard when it does, the pack doesn't come with that. But yeah, like there's that concrete sink that's really nice. The tub is made out of concrete, looks like. I was just really happy with having this pack, essentially. Because I knew, again, I could go with the collector traveling kind of vibe. Because there's a lot of statuary and display pieces. A lot of really cool plants. I'm just kind of grabbing everything out that I like. Very quickly, though, I ran out of space, so I started chucking everything outside. Because while my method is awesome, in my opinion, you need a little bit of space to see everything. At that point, I couldn't even see what I had. I didn't really have a firm plan for this going in. I just knew that I was really excited about it. I kind of wanted it to look... I think it's El Salvador? Salvadorian? I don't, I don't remember. I wanted it to look like a modern interpretation of it. Like, I didn't really like... I didn't want it to be super, uh, like, I didn't want appropriation to be the theme of the house. I more wanted it to be appreciation. And, like, none of these things were ransacked out of, like, tombs and things like that. Just because I don't like that, and it's gross. It's gross behavior. We do not stand that behavior. But I feel like local artists... Local artists could have easily made copies of existing things, like those stone reliefs. And so they're supporting, supporting local businesses. We love to see it. So I definitely have used the concrete tub, because that was the only tub we had. I was trying to find a toilet that matched as best as I could, because it actually didn't have a toilet. I don't know why I said they had a toilet. They didn't. I don't know which one I went with. I think I went with the one that I have down. And I was trying to figure out the layout as well. I normally don't put bathtubs in downstairs bathrooms because I feel like they're guest bathrooms. Especially here when that is the only bathroom downstairs so it really is a guest bathroom, but yeah, Why not? I love that I could make the tiles in the shower match, but I kind of hate that it's a little offset. Not enough to change it, but it did annoy me a bit. I really, 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 really wanted to use the sink, but it just did not go at all. So I decided to use the concrete one, but I was really sad about it, it must be said. So I was just trying a couple of the different, like, rougher types of things that maybe are handmade. Again, purchased from local craftsmen in the area, not stolen in any way. And I really like that kind of teal. I already knew I was not going to find a mirror to go over the sink because, to my eternal displeasure, you cannot adjust mirrors and with that high back, there was just no way. So instead I improvised, I kept that really tall mirror. I was kind of editing out a little bit what I didn't didn't want to keep. I really wanted to keep that skeleton. I think he's super cool. And again, I 
in my mind. That was that's not an artifact. That is a piece of artwork that was made by somebody in the area, and they bought it and brought it home. I was trying to like get a plant in there that fit, but a lot of them didn't really fit that well, which was annoying. Because it just seems like that pack has a lot of plants and a lot of pottery. And I wanted to incorporate that. Like, look at all those pots. I wanted to be able to incorporate some of it. I also really wanted to keep that, but the shadow was driving me nuts. Like, I hate when you shrink things. That it, and I understand the fact that we can shrink things is amazing anyways, but it was really bothering me that the shadow was wrong. So yeah, I'm just really working on the finishing kind of decorations. I'm looking for more bathroom stuff. I really wanted to put pots in here. I really did. So I finally got this one, which is kind of in the corner. And then this bathroom probably would have some routing issues. I'm not really sure if it's usable because I do leave that stool there. Potentially it is, but I don't know. And yeah, I kind of block off. I block things off with plants, it must be said. And I'm not even sorry about it. Not even remotely. Wanted to include the little lantern. I really liked this tapestry. And there was like no walls where it would look nicely on. So I definitely yanked out a window. Which is fine, because I wasn't super thrilled with using the windows. They went just enough that I couldn't justify not using them. And yeah, so I just hung up that tapestry there really like that minty one. I'm just kind of removing stuff that I don't think is going to fit or go. I did really want to include that even though that does look like it's probably an authentic artifact, but I would like to assume that they got permission to take it, that it's not a cultural significance to the point where like, again, it's stolen. Like, they probably have a lot of those things, and so they're okay with selling some of them. But no stealing. None of that. We don't support that. I wanted to use one of the rugs, but it was really kind of hard with the coloring. I liked the bigger one a little bit better, but it just didn't match and it looked weird. So I went with that one. And because it's me, you know it's going diagonal. Oh, it didn't. I forgot it didn't go diagonal. And so now I'm just now that I've got all of the pack stuff in, I wanted to go back and just add some more stuff to it just so it looked like a bathroom that is used because it is right by the study, so I imagine the person who works in, in that room obviously is going to be using the bathroom. I did put toothbrushes even though they probably aren't brushing their teeth down there, but you never know. And this is again where I, I don't know how usable this bathroom is because I do block off the tub. But it's fine. It looks pretty and that's what matters. I would love a walkthrough block in this game. It's definitely something that I'm missing. And yeah, I'm just kind of putting a bunch of bathroom clutter. I really, again, wanted to use Tiny Twabla's stuff because it would fit so perfectly. But I didn't. I resisted the urge. You're welcome. Just put some candles. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that I really wanted in there that made sense. Wanted it to be a comforting kind of space too. Yeah, back to freaking curtains. I think I went with the wooden ones. Not those. I don't actually remember. It kept moving too, and it was driving me nuts. Like, would you just stay still? Actually, no, I think I went with that instead. Which is kind of awkward for a bathroom, but eh. Gotta make sure you put a toilet paper roll. I never noticed that before, but I think it's. Filigracy said something about it, and I was like, oh, that is kind of weird. And so now I, I make sure to include one in all bathrooms. Just trying to pick out some towels, just, like if you wash your hands, obviously. 
You don't want to use paper towels. That's not sustainable. Not cool. I really liked that one, but it was too high, and when I moved it down, it didn't look right. I think I end up going... I don't remember what I go with. Oh, I go with that. I did remove the stone. The shadows were weird again. Oh, I guess I do leave that bath towel. Alright. Yeah, so this is it. Oh, I do put the rug on a diagonal. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I am going to see you in the next installment of this. Let me know if you think that I got it right, and I'll see you in the next one.